Hello and welcome to another episode of FM Live with me, Nikhil Pereira. And in today's episode, we are going to be talking to the CEO and Vice Chairman of Kuwait-based ESG, Ahmed Al Isa. Now, the Kuwait FM sector is probably one of the neglected ones in the GCC because we don't hear too much news from there and uh, we don't know how the sector is doing. So Ahmed's in a great position to tell us about the Kuwaiti FM sector, which, is, which has been around since, since forever. And Ahmed's company is also around for about two decades. So let's go straight into it and ask Ahmed, what's the Kuwaiti FM sector like and what's his company up to in that market? Uh, the company established in 1999 uh, as a project management and facility management consultant. Uh, the majority of our clients is more, the base client we have is the government sector. Okay. So we've been dealing with them for the past since the inception of the, of the company itself. Uh, for the recent years we've been uh, dealing with mainly with the uh, ministries of finance and uh, the Triple P Bureau. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So we're dealing you know, with the project from as a, an idea itself until we hand it over to the client as a uh, total building. Tell me a bit about your operational standpoint, your uh, hard and soft services that you, that you offer and what kind of penetration you have in the market in Kuwait. Well, let's talk about in general. And as an FM, uh, Kuwait market is sort of a new yeah. concept. Uh, the government, uh, for the past, let's say, uh, couple of months, they, they've been aware about it and they've been trying to push the uh, government sector to adopt yeah. the idea of facility management itself. Since most of the new buildings that have been constructed by the government are smart buildings and very uh, delicate material have been used, you know, yeah. especially with yeah. the new technologies that have yeah. been using. So they are finally you know, accepted the idea of you know, pushing the facility yeah. management itself. For us as an ESG, uh, our clients, what we do for them, you know, especially for their old buildings, we generate, you know, the uh, FM manuals for them. Okay. So, since they don't have it previously, so we populate, you know, the uh, document itself and the procedure okay. and how to take care of their uh, assets. And uh, our role is mainly as a consultant, we don't do actual contractual work. Can you tell us a bit about uh, technology in FM and, and your CAFM system? Okay. Uh, our system is uh, Rosmemen, it's a Spanish company, We've been uh, with us for the past seven years. I cannot tell you, you know, that we're very strong, but we're still, and we're moving a bit faster okay. towards the technology-wise. As an ESG, we adopted the technology in uh, recent two years that we've been introducing to the waiting market with a new idea of technology and either <coughs> IOTs more into the building itself. Okay. So we are working out in a way that uh, when we introduce the services, we introduce it smart than rather you know basic yeah. you know Excel sheets or whatever. Are our clients understanding the role of technology? <laughs> Is it an easy conversation? They appreciate that okay. because uh, as I told you, uh, the core business yeah. it's been neglected because of. You know they're trying to maintain their assets. Yeah, yeah. So when you it's give a reactive. Them, yeah. So when you yeah. give them something, you know that will ease their pain. Okay, will be appreciated, mm. and they would love to do that. And they don't mind putting in that extra investment uh, if at all it requires that. Uh, it, it takes us a bit of uh, convincing yeah. and the effort to convince them, you know, to do it. Uh, but at the end, they'll appreciate it because they look at it, you know. Okay, I'll spend it now, but I'm going to gain the profit later yeah. on by saving. Your plans for the next 12 months? Could you could you outlay where uh, if you have expansion plans or business plans for the next 12 months? Uh, right now, we're working with the uh, more into the studies and uh, developing uh, the uh, let's say sector of the business to help the entrepreneurs. Okay. So whatever we have any you know any fresh. Entrepreneur, it doesn't matter what's the age of it, but you know, they, they have an idea about technology or something to, to advance whatever services we have. We've been, you know, getting, getting them on board and we okay. try to help them, you know, to generate uh, or to populate uh, their idea. Their idea with your plans. For us. Yeah.